That's kind of disgusting, guys. We get a chunky beef in the toilet. That's kind of disgusting, but I'm taking it anyway. Welcome back to Starfield, everyone. Jason here. In the last episode, we got some of our initial uh, missions done for Constellation. And now we need to go out and save Barrett. So let's go down here and there we go. Toggle which uh, quest is tracked on your HUD. We're going to go find and uh, save. No, no, not Sam Cole. We're going to go find Barrett. There we go. Let's go find Barrett and save him. You got to go find Barrett. Let's go. Feel free to help yourself at the bar. I don't drink, but I feel like if I did, now would be a good time. Now would be a good time. So we're going to go through and kind of like, uh, I think Barrett might be my uh, my chosen uh, companion for this playthrough. A lot of people go through with uh, with good. Sarah. We're here to help. But I like, uh, I like going through and, and helping out Barrett. So let's see. Let's get down in here. There's also, I oh, I can't remember if we've done it or not. Uh, there's some stuff. There's some side stuff we can do, but again, we're trying to do our main story So we don't want to do too much on the side We might just because like if we need to increase our level for anything We might need to do it that way, but other than that Not really gonna be doing any side stuff Let's go to spaceport Wet floor? <laughs> yeah, I would say so. It looks like it might be a little bit wet out here. Oh, I've always liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, we're not getting any uh, I subtitles. I wonder why we're not getting any subtitles. I'm pretty sure I had them on. Wait a minute, let me check. Uh, accessibility? Yeah, all the subtitles are on. They're just not showing up. Okay. Was trying to represent. Oh, now they are. Now that I looked at this setting, they're like, oh yeah, we should probably turn them on. I'm trying to get some of my running, uh, my running skills. What are you doing in my ship? Oh, it's a ship technician. Okay. Hi. Helping me out. Please disregard. I attempted an informal Let me know when you're ready to launch. All right, Sarah. Who keeps closing my cockpit? Do have anything in my inventory? Uh, we're pretty good. We have everything set up here. Oh, we could. Oh, we should have probably dropped that off. You know what? I will drop that in here. We'll transfer my uh, my constellation suit. I don't like to get rid of it because like it's unique. So I don't want to get rid of that. Same thing for my constellation backpack because I have a better jetpack. And my yeah, see, I have better equipment right now. So far, so far. So let's get in here. And then we're off to go save Barrett. Yeah, we're gonna have to upgrade our ship as well. Yeah, we're gonna have to go through. Once we get some money going, we're gonna have to um, add some more like shield, better shields, better engine, all that kind of stuff while we're here. But for now, let's just head on over here. Yep, yeah, powered up, let's go. That is the coolest, like, loading screen ever. And then boom, right in there. What is that? What are you guys doing? Um, I think those are ships. <laughs> They're kind of uh, freaking out. Well, let's go and land here. See what's going on here. They're uh, supposedly leaving, but... Maybe Barrett's not with them? It appears them? things have gone downhill since the last time you were here. Oh. The... Am I not wearing a suit? 
Oh god, I wasn't wearing a suit. Maybe I should do that. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Make sure you always wear a suit. Good lord. Rose has clearly there we washed go. its hands of this operation. Well, you're back. Where what happened to Barrett? Oh, we'll get to what happened to Barrett. Okay, Lynn. Uh uh uh. Don't you Lynn me. I thought things had already gone sideways, but no, that was just the beginning. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert, Troy, some of the new Dusties, they didn't make it. Oh, I like Troy. He seemed like a cool guy. He was the guy that talked about uh, there's not enough, uh, ju the juice is not worth the squeeze in the beginning. Oh, uh, why hit the same place twice? What could they gain? Who knows with pirates? Revenge? Peeking at the scraps? Maybe they're from a different crew and we just got hit twice by sheer bad luck. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. Oh, that doesn't sound too good to me. Not for them, anyway. Barrett is more dangerous than you might think. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> going so well until that part. I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. I need to find Barrett and Heller, Lynn. What, what do you, yeah, where are they? They could have grab jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them. <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up. Oh, we need to fix the comms and get all that stuff going. Okay. Got anything in here? Nope. So they want me to go over there. I'm going to search in here for a second just to see if there's any goodies in here that I missed, maybe. Oh, you just barely made it in, Sarah. Like that. Like this. Supervisor's log supplemental. Still need two of Argos Extractor's Vectera dig. Restart collective claim ID Beta 7548 Alpha. As far as anyone knows, this is just another ore run. Vectera's got enough mid-level veins to keep everyone working and not asking questions. I've told Hella everything he needs to know, which is pretty much everything I know. That this is another one of Barrett's special orders. He made good with the payment for Kazal, even if it was a bust. This time, I'm not so sure. This place is giving me the willies. I think we're going to find something. I just have no idea what it could be, or why Barrett might want it. But those sweet constellation credits mean we dig our holes and keep our mouths shut. And I'm okay with that. Hopefully, between Barrett's mysterious thing and the ore itself will be done with this rock in five days when the transport is supposed to come back for extraction. Okay, so they were supposed to be out of here in five days. That obviously did not happen. Dang it. I think this is where we woke up. Oh my god, I left the credits here? Come on, man. I didn't check anything. I didn't, I didn't double check out. Oh, there's another emergency power. Do we need a lot of emergency power all of a sudden? No, no, no. Yeah, I think that's going down into the mine. 
Okay. And we woke up over there. Alright, I don't see anything major sticking out, so let's go. Oh yeah, speaking of that, let me check my uh, armor. Make sure it's on, number one, but hide in settlements. There we go. That way, I'm wearing my normal clothes in settlements. I wonder, does it switch when I when I do this? Yeah, it does! Okay! Instantly just switches. Okay. I like that. That's actually really cool. Because then you don't have to worry about, oh, taking it on and off. Oh, wait. Yeah, there we go. Get on in here, Sarah. Okay. Fine. Freak out out there. That's fine with me. No, no, no. Give me all these materials. Oh, Heller's Cutter. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going to take that. That's going to be cool. I don't know, 20% damage against robots? Okay, I'll take that. I will use that as my own battery. Or my own, uh... My own, uh... Laser cutter. Sweet. Before I get too crazy with it. Yeah, against robots. And we can get rid of our old one. Nice! Industrial workbench. Nothing sticking out. Oh, there's a safe in here. Two. Oh, am I not? Am I not leveled up? I don't have any skill points either. Dang it. Vectera control room key. Okay, we'll probably need that since my lock picking's not leveled up yet. Got a whole bunch of batteries. I bet you we're gonna have to uh, power up something. I'm sure. food there. All right. I see some... Oh, beer. We don't need that. Oh, wait a minute. We might need that. Oh, we can do some research. Let's see. Do we have anything ready to go? Oh, no. We need to level up on all that. And in this one, we need polymer and uh, cosmetic. All right. I'm not too worried about that yet. Secure a control room key. Oh, we got a watermelon. Did you pick? Reactive gauge. Oh. Let's see. The computer is unpowered. That should do it. Can't believe we got into this mess. Would you be quiet? Trying to make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gotta tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. You underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy. One of them is bound to show up. <laughs> Looking to reunite with this handsome face. We're doomed. Capital D, doomed. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. Okay. So, Heller, we know where their location is. Hey, Lynn. I know you don't want to talk to me right now, but come on. So, you actually get that computer working again? I did. I found a transmission from Barrett. What? Let me see that. <laughs> if 
funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand... Okay, let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? I knew you cared about them. You're a softy. Well, don't start buying me stuffed animals for my birthday or anything. But yes, all right. I don't like seeing my people hurt. Even Barrett and Hella. Just get after them, okay? And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Uh, yeah. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If, uh, you find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. My contract's up with Argos, and I could use a change of scenery. I got you. You're just the kind of traveling companion I want. You should come along. Um... Yep, yep, yep. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I'm needed. All right. Oh. Well, let's find her to the ship. So Lynn is good at outpost management. Oh, we need to make an outpost to have her busy. Okay. Right. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later. All right. Gonna have to make an outpost. That way she can uh, handle all that stuff. Okay. Greetings, Captain. Here we go. Hi, right, Captain. Where are we headed next? Oh, I've never seen her without her gear on. What? Hey, Lynn. Good luck finding Barrett. Keep an eye out for Hello while you're at it. Okay, I will. Let's get this show on the road. Let's go get Barrett. And I'm, I'm assuming Barrett and Heller are together, right? Let's put this one into space. Can't be too far away. We're locking into orbit now. We are going that mission, right? Uh, yep, back to Victera. Travel to Kindy. Navigational feedback checks out. We're in the right place. Okay. We have a crashed ship. What? A crashed ship? That doesn't sound good. Why is there a crashed ship here? Uh-oh. Hopefully they're not in trouble. Landing site locked. Take us in. Oh, let's get up. I gotta drop some stuff off in my cargo. Just in case. Oh, resources. Store it all. Oh, yeah, we don't need the battery. Eh, we'll, we'll hold on to it for now. Just for now. Good day, Captain. So that's where Barrett and Heller are going to be, way over here. Extreme cold. Oh, wait. Might have some uh, company over here. I have my machine guns here. Oh, I don't have any bullets. Oh, good lord. Oh, we have a whole bunch for our Grendel, though. Scan everything here. Get all of my stuff. Use the hand scanner to place an outpost. Oh yeah, for Lynn! We can do that. I mean, not, not specifically only for her, but you know. We can have a place for uh, Lynn to hang out and get all of her cool stuff done. Wait a minute. Why not? I'm not... 
I was gonna say, we need a heller cutter. There we go. Let's say this thing's not supposed to be orange, or not supposed to be red, it's supposed to be orange. Got all that, yes. Don't leave before I get over here. I think it's a pirate ship, but I have no idea. Can't see what it is yet. Oh, VC Vanguard. Okay, so this is a good ship. So technically I can't really, I mean, I could steal it, I think, but it might be bad for business if I do. What's in here? Okay, we got, uh, got some stuff going on in here. Make yourself at home, stranger. I'm okay with visitors on my ship, so long as you follow the rules. I'm not with the Vanguard, but I've been on the front lines a lot of battles. Ah, always good to meet a fellow frontline soldier. That's what Vanguard means, right? Head of the class. It also means you're the one who gets shot at first. But no one ever said honor and valor didn't come with a catch. Okay. So I guess I could take him out if I wanted to be a jerk. Okay. Have anything good in here I can borrow from you? I don't see anything really. Oh, wait. David Copperfield, it's all. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't want to get in trouble unless it's really good stuff. I'm not going to take it. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll leave that alone. Excuse me, uh, Sarah? How do I leave? Up oh, right here, there's the hatch. This All is right. Bad. Try suit walking on the exterior of a military ship during maneuvers. All right. So that wasn't a pirate one, and I don't want to be—I don't want to be mean. I don't want to be the evil guy. So we'll just leave that one alone, I guess. Uh, we have one more mineral to find. What is it? I bet you it's like water or something. Oh, or it's helium. Go, survey data done. Yeah, that looks like a wreckage over here for sure. Let's see. Hopefully they survived. Okay. Not dead. Looks like he's moving. Oh, hey, it's you. And here I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Uh, you're in a lot of painkillers, but otherwise you're in surprisingly good health. Considering the spaceship wreckage, you mean? Yeah. Well, you missed the worst of it. Pretty sure we ripped through all the emergency meds that were salvageable. Hey, uh, you know, when I uh, pulled you to the med bench back on Vectera, I honestly thought, shit, I think I just saved someone's life. Oddly proud moment, you know? Uh, so, uh, I guess I'm saying, glad I paid it forward. Indeed. Without your help, we wouldn't have ever gotten this worthwhile addition to Constellation. Uh. Man. I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. <laughs> Trust me. Why does everyone mock Barrett? Why does everyone have to do a Barrett voice? What is that? All right. Uh, trust me is my go-to line when someone shouldn't trust me. <laughs> yeah. I'm starting to see that. He tells me 
We need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, this kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these pearly whites? <laughs> pearly He's whites. He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. And he shot something he shouldn't have. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was. Smiling like it was just another day on the job. You missed the fun part, Heller. <laughs> I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little finger gun thing. <laughs> but yeah, Barrett isn't here. I need to find him. What's going on here? Oh, wait, no, no. He really survived the crash without a scratch on him? Well, no, I don't think so. I caught him holding his ribs a few times. <laughs> Favorite his left leg a bit, you know? Uh, but yeah, he's not here and I need to find him. Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, yeah. I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then... Less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay, I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. Oh, the Crimson Fleet has him again. I was drifting in and out. Yeah. But and they left him here. Yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. <laughs> Haven't really been in a good <clears throat> space to have a listen. <laughs> Here you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? Yeah. I don't think anyone else is coming. Yeah, I think so, buddy. Yeah, let's get you on your feet first. Yeah, just uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. Yeah, it's just... All right, now I'm good. Well, what else is here? Salmon filet. Is there anything left in this wreckage? I'm not seeing anything. There is nothing here. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Oh, don't freak out. Yeah, let's get going. Phew, oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were gonna leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? Oh, crew can, from any location, can be assigned to a landed ship. No assignment currently available for Heller. That's okay, we'll keep him, though. Yeah, we definitely need to make room. You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. Or maybe we need to make our uh, our ship bigger. That way we can just have everyone there. Maybe. And I, it has engineering, outpost engineering stuff. So probably it's better for that. Let's go in here to my notes. Crimson Cabin. Oh, we already read that. Can't believe we got into this mess. Would you have given the fleet a lot of trouble, Barrett? Hey, since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move. He's trying to figure out our destination, probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah, thought I was making that pretty obvious. 
Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. <laughs> okay. Gotta get some materials. Aluminum is very, very useful. So yeah, definitely gonna grab some of that while we're here. There we go. Nothing else here. I mean, we can search around a little bit. We have all these cool unknown locations. But let's go get Barrett first. We could definitely make our, our ship a little bit bigger. I've got something with your name on it, boss. Hello. What do you got with my name on it there, Heller? Hey, whew, I was starting to think you forgot about me. Don't I always? Here. Okay, Alkynes. Okay. Let's get out of here. And we need to go to another planet to go save Barrett. Hopefully we have Barrett on this planet. Time to leave this place behind. Stay in orbit or jump. Shipping crate? What is this? I'll oh, forget to fly around here. And you can grab materials from uh, asteroids, which I love. Get a whole bunch of iron. Alright. Now that we've got... Oh, there's another shipping crate over here. What is going on? There's shipping crates all over this place. Here we go. Alright, let's go get Barrett. Vessel. Talk with Sarah Morgan. What is going on with Sarah? Is she freaking out now? There's something I need to talk to you about. Oh, give me a second. We're in the middle of a hyperdrive here. Or a warp, I guess. A warp is better. Switching over to standard engines. Scan it. Ransacked research outpost. Okay, I guess we need to talk to... What's her name? Sarah. She's probably having panic attacks back there. Because we're picking up a whole bunch of people. Sarah, what's on your mind? Thanks for taking the time to talk. I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Vectera. When you pulled it from the rock, held it in your hands for the first time, how did you feel? I had visions and I heard sounds and music. It's difficult to describe. No, no, I, I don't think you understand. I know about the visions, the light and the music. How did you feel inside? What? What were your thoughts? How did I feel inside? Um. Like raw, powerful energy was coursing through my veins. Raw energy? I've never heard that one before. 
I shouldn't be surprised. The artifacts aren't exactly what you'd call normal. That's a bit of an understatement. <laughs> true, true. But hey, how else would you describe it? The artifacts are so different, so alien. And I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Quite the mystery. Yes. Um, even if we could answer, what would we say? Oh, that's an excellent question. You'd think after years of gathering data about the artifacts, I'd have the perfect answer to that. But I haven't the faintest idea. Yeah, this whole experience must be incredibly frustrating. Frustrating? No. Bewildering? Yes. It would be... Oh, well... An explorer's dream to solve a mystery like this. Well, then we'll get to the bottom of this mystery. Uh, or, uh, never mind the dream. Think of the fame. I'm still not convinced it's a mystery to be solved. No, let's get to the bottom of, the, of this mystery together. I knew I picked the right person for the job. Look, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk. And for keeping an open mind. And I also wanted to say, well, I'm pleased we're on this journey together. <laughs> it's the best decision I've made in quite a long time. Okay. Well, let's get going then. lucky if we pull anything organic off this rock. Captain Bacon, it is <laughs> pleasant. Uh, oh, this doesn't sound good. We already got uh, shots ringing out. That's not good. Oh, that's not going to be accurate that far. Whoa! Okay. He exploded. That one. Oh. That's good. Oh. Ooh, the, where's the shot coming from? Oh, is he sniping me? Okay, that's where it's coming from. Underneath? Alright, we need to get the sniper up here. Alright. Oh, I got you, buddy. I just realized my clip, my magazine is gigantic. Hitman refined Kraken. Okay, I like that. Let's get down here. That way, Sarah doesn't like get destroyed. Got this. Are they in? Oh, wait a minute. There they go. Oh, crap. No, you're not. You think you are. Not happening, though, buddy. Where'd you go? Is he on the... Are you kidding me? They're on top of the roof? I go. Whoa! What was that? What are you 
doing? Alright, over here. Alright, one more, one more. I think. Just give up! You just been hiding over here? To be honest, if I had to pick something positive to say about the Crimson Fleet, I'd be at a loss. Yeah, they didn't really put up a, that big of a fight, which I'm okay with. Oh god. I'm okay with them not, you know, not being really good. That's cool with me. Not see anything. So we have to go into that building, but let's search around a little bit. Get some uh, ammo and stuff. And nothing in that weapons case? Are you serious? Oh, come on. <coughs> oh, getting all choked up over here. Oh, yeah, we did pick up a, a cool weapon. Let's see what we got. We have that one here, but uh, Hitman's Refined Kraken. Against aliens, plus 15% uh, damage while aiming. Oh, really? Okay. We definitely need to... I love this extended mag explorer calibrated Grendel. But we need to get some more damage on that thing. It needs to get refined or something. Because, I mean, it works, but... Just barely. Oh, a whole bunch of cigarettes in there. Holy cow. All right. Did you pick... Combat knives. Oh, we ended up picking up a pack of cigarettes anyway. Dang it, gotta throw those away. Meal tray lid, watermelon. Oh, good lord. We got, uh, yeah, see, this is where I get lost. All of a sudden, I pick it up like all the food. Picking up like synth, me synth meat, synthetic meat. Some coffee. Someone's making uh, potatoes and uh, a carrot. Okay. Nothing down in here. Oh, we have that. We do need that metabolic agent sealant. All right. Crafting components we do need. Excuse me, Sarah. Nothing, nothing. Antique videotape. A VHS? They still have VHS in the future? 300 years in the future? Nothing in that weapon case either. What is going on here? Let's get this going. Got to improve our lock picking skills. And then... That works. Oh, this is going to be the hard one, though. That works. Calibrated Kraken pistol. There we go. Done that before. Yes, I have, Sarah. I have. Get some of my lock picking done. Okay. And ammo does not take any weight, so you can pick up all the ammo you want with no repercussions. Listen, I realize we're kind of known for being badasses and all that, but seriously, clean up after yourselves. Yeah, seriously, clean up. All this broken glass everywhere. Come on. I need to probably start using the food that I've been picking up. There we go. I think we've searched it all, almost. Search over here. Any chest or anything? I 
I wonder. Do we have access to our ship? We are pretty close to it, but I don't know. Nope, we're not close enough. That's fine. Sometimes if you're close enough, you can just transfer everything to your ship. You know, from your inventory. You don't have to be on your ship, but you have to be pretty close, just like in No Man's Sky. You gotta be pretty close. We don't have our uh, teleport receiver on yet. Ooh, locked, huh? All right, let's see what's in here. I don't think this is gonna work. Let's try. Nope. All right, so there's that one and we need three. So it'd be this one. Okay, yep. And then we'll need three on the other side of this. Or four, technically. All right, that works. Yeah, there's just locks everywhere. Oh, experts too much. Oh, med pack, I'll take that. Outpost key. Around Neo City former. Okay. Neon City, not Neo. Neon, I think. Puka stuff. Desk fan for anyone who's just overly too hot. Okay, I think we're basically done. They were playing cards in there. We're good. Bad people, bad jokes. Dumbbells. I think we're all good on everything. I mean, I, I wish I could upgrade my lock picking ability, but I can't. Oh, that's why. Shower. Got it. All right. All right. Let's get in here. Oh. There's no certainty to the universe at all. Once you really start getting out there, the laws of physics kind of turn into suggestions. You're pulling my leg again, right? That's the biggest thing you've seen. No exaggerations this time. Hmm. Thing. Unicorn. Not. What? The mythical mare with the magic horn thing? Come on. Was King Arthur riding on it too? That's kind of disgusting, guys. We got a chunky beef in the toilet. That's kind of disgusting, but I'm taking it anyway. Oh, journal, okay. Store prices are permanently reduced by 2% and you sell for 2% more. I like it. Holy shit. You actually found me. I wish I could say this is the first time <laughs> this has happened with Barrett. But, well, it isn't. Well, this is turning into a regular constellation party, isn't it? I should have brought drinks. Um, I'm here to take you home, Barrett. You know, it's actually been kind of nice. Matsura the Grim here is a great host. No sense letting people's last moments be unpleasant. See, that's what I like about you, Matsura. Real renaissance man. 
I have enjoyed our time together, Barrett. But I can't just let you go with nothing to show for it. Is Constellation willing to pay ransom in exchange for this man's freedom? Um... What do we do? Uh, we can have Sarah. You know what? We haven't had Sarah talk about it at all. Uh, we do have some insurance set aside for this exact problem. We do have some insurance set aside for this exact problem. Does that mean you'll be paying me, miss? We don't need to be introduced. Here's your money. And we would appreciate it if you could spread the word in the Crimson Fleet that Barrett shouldn't be harassed. It's not working out for any of us. That's a fair point. But I can't control a man's reputation. Do what you can. A suggestion to the right ears can work wonders. Hmm. Very well. Goodbye to you all. I have enjoyed this little exchange. See you around, Metzer. Uh, I mean, well, you know, hopefully not. Yeah, hopefully not. Oh. He's free to go. I do not encourage you to return. Got nothing to say to you. Matsura's in charge. Hey, I'm just I'm just here to take all your items, guys. Don't worry about me. You're lucky. The boss is so generous. Yeah, I am lucky the boss is so generous. All right, I think that's it. Well, let's go, Barrett. I think it said we had to go return to the lodge. So uh, yeah, I guess we got to go return to the lodge. Something valuable behind. Though I doubt it. Yeah, I doubt it too, Sarah. Oh god. Have fun with that, Sarah. Oof. <laughs> How many uh oh we have two minerals. Let's do that real fast. Get an aluminum. Maybe you can get that to point us to the nearest restaurant. Aha. What else do we have? We only have two things to scan. I don't. I want to get the survey done. That way we can sell it for money. Uh, but I don't know where the heck the other one is. No, nothing. Has to be right here, right? This thing, this toxic spout. No. There is nothing. Okay, so we're looking for helium. We're getting aluminum, but now it's not no helium, huh? Come on. Okay. We might have to just let it go. Because I don't see anything sticking out. Other than aluminum. Yeah, nothing. All right. Let's get back on here. And we need to go back to the lodge. We have lift. Yeah. GQ 
Check complete. Orbit steady. Let's go back home. Okay, go to the lodge, drop off Barrett. I'm gonna try to get Barrett as my uh, my main companion. And then maybe we'll upgrade our ship, that way we can have everyone on our ship. Because there's not enough room on the ship for everybody. Oh. Really? You're gonna choose that time to do that? Here we go. You are entering United Colony. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. There's the small matter of a bill I recently received. 5,000 credits for assorted petty course. You want to tell me the real story there, Barrett? You and Vladimir don't exactly strike me as the petty fours type. More like beer and pretzels, if you ask me. Listen, Sarah. We were hosting a party and I don't know what to say. You have to impress, right? The eye isn't your personal vacation home. It's a delicate instrument. Okay, so he and uh, Vladimir on the eye were, uh, we're doing some stuff. All right. Oh, return to the lodge. So yeah, I want to make uh, Barrett my main companion that I'm going to take around with me because most people do Sarah, you know, because, you know, Sarah is one of the first ones you get. So of course it's easy to just stick with Sarah. I'm going to try to use Barrett on my run. We're here. Perhaps we should check in with Mateo or Noel. Sorry for the wait, everyone. Got a little held up on Vectera. Barrett, we were worried sick. Well, some of us were. <laughs> I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Oh, yeah. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign when he's worried. Don't start, country. Wait, is that? <laughs> yeah. And to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library shelf. Now look at them all. You feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, I had the visions. Being around them is just comforting. So hey, I I'm still not a hundred percent, plus I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around? help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe. Yes. Uh, if you're in charge of, if you're coming with me, who's in charge of the frontier? It doesn't really matter to me. We'll never get too attached to ships. After the fifth or sixth time, one blows up and you get marooned. The romance fades. Oh. <laughs> Plus the frontier is a constellation ship. And you're one of us now. So it's just as much yours as mine at this point. All right, let's go, man. Marvelous. Hmm? Do you need something? I think we're okay. good. All right. Yeah. Ask if you've got questions. Speak up if you have ideas. We're all here for the same reason. Well, let's go. Let's see what we got in our uh, our case up here. I wonder, can I transfer from my ship over here? So, if I go into my... Nope, I can just do my storage. Okay. So, my inventory. Nothing I want to drop off from here. Nope. Maybe some of these. Oh, yeah, like that. I like to keep my... Uh, all my cool stuff, like, in... All my suits in here. I like that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. We got the golden, uh, cool looking, uh, stuff here. I like that. Space undersuit. We don't need that. Ah, you know what? I do like these. These all look pretty cool. Utility flight suit, workers jumpsuit. We'll do the flight suit. So that'll be what I wear. You can try take all the rest of this and put it away, I guess. 
So let's do... And actually, you know what? I think Barrett is going to be the neon nightlife jumpsuit. So we'll put that on Barrett. And when we get something really fancy for me, then we'll strap that on me. All right. Where did Barrett go? Barrett, where are you, buddy? There you are. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> Was that your stomach or mine? Man after my heart. I love that. Not a problem. We need to get you something. Let's see if I have space. Um, well, he's going to need a weapon. So we definitely need to give you a cool weapon, man. Um... I mean... Something cool. Maybe that? A machine gun? So... 6.5. Let's give him that one. And he doesn't need any of this stuff. But he does need... That. All right, so now we go to weapons on him. 6.5, does he have ammo? No, he has five. Okay, so boom. He's gonna need some 6.5. And we'll give him 50, 50 bullets. He doesn't run out, but you know, just in case. There you go, buddy. Look at, oh, he's always looking fancy. Well, okay then. Look at that, dude. That is pretty awesome. All right. Now I need to find some cool clothes for me. Dang it. What other missions do we have? We have the empty nest. Mantis. I found a note about a secret outpost on a dead spacer. Might be worth a read. Oh, really? Read the secret outpost slate. Well, let's do that. What is this? Oh, we should probably drop that off too. Loyal to your crew, I get it, but screw that. Beg, borrow, steal, kill to get the De Novo IB. There's a secret outpost we're trying to crack. Once in a lifetime opportunity. You will regret it for the rest of your life if you don't get your ass over here. Okay. So now we know where it is. Oh, yes. So wait a minute. Empty nest. Sarah Morgan wants me to... Join an expedition by Sam Co. So we need to do those as well. So you know what? Let's go talk to Sam Co. I cannot wait to meet him. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what he's like. Just go easy on him. Being interrogated by a kid ain't exactly the best way to make a first impression. I'll limit it to the really important stuff, Dad. This does not bode well. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Yeah. And you must be Sam Co, the Freestar Collective expert. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm going to fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Good to meet you, Cora. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Perfect. And you must be the new engineer. Or maybe our new gunner. Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. <laughs> Honest. Fine. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Uh, only that it was a Freestar Collective space. Sure enough. That's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila. For a settled planet of the Freestar Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country, spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing artifact. Oh, really? Anything I should know about Aquila? Yeah, don't piss off the Freestar Rangers. As far as the collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and executioner. Oh, really? They're the good guys, but. That don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. <laughs> I could do that. I could do that, Sam. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. 
Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. Sure. Okay. Got a minute. Look at you, Barrett, looking stylish. I love it. All right. So before we head out, let's sell some of the gear we have, make some money. How much money do we have? Um, 21,000 credits. We're also, we're going to need to upgrade our ship, I think. We got a lot of people showing up all of a sudden, so we're going to need to do that. But before we do, let's make some money. So let's head over to the, uh, the commercial district over here. We'll be able to, uh, get some, or sell some of our gear. Get rid of some of the food we've been stocking up. <laughs> That way we can uh, afford to upgrade our ship. Let's see. Oh. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. We just leveled or we just ranked up. Wait a minute. So we got a point. We can put it in anything really, but we can put it like in our security. No, not our security, but our jetpack. Not medicine yet. Ballistics, almost there. Persuasion, nope. But uh, weightlifting. Oh, running. We still need to run and use up all of our oxygen. So let's do our weightlifting. That way we can carry more weight. So now we're up to 180. Okay, nice. 180, I'll take that. Let's clear out some of the stuff at Outland. Hey, buddy. Well, you're only as safe as your equipment out there. Welcome to Outland. We deal in only the finest, most reliable gear for whatever adventures may await you. All of our products come highly recommended by individuals who have devoted their lives to distant travel. And while I've never needed them myself, I stand by everything we offer. Uh, that's not very reassuring. You don't use your stuff? As I've said, I wouldn't sell anything that hasn't been recommended by frequent travelers. And of course, if they're frequent, that means their equipment is working. Okay, uh... Let me... What have you... Yes, Chris by all means. Have a look. There we go. So he has 5,000. We're gonna sell. Like our combat knife. We don't need this. The regular cutter. We don't need that one. We have Keller's cutter now. Don't need the laser weapon. Don't need the regular Grendel. Um, is that better than the one? No, we'll leave. This is a machine gun, so we'll keep that one for now. Maelstrom. That one. Feel like that's a pretty good setup there. Sell that one. Yeah, we don't need it. It's mostly red, so not as good as the one we already have. Definitely not as good as the one we already have. Deep mining helmet. Yes. Let's get rid of it. Apparel. We're set. Oh, wait. Did I not put it on? I haven't. I, I didn't even put it on. I'm running around naked. Uh, get rid of the mines. There we go. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we have to get rid of some of this uh, food here. Just because it's taking up a lot of my uh, inventory space. Let's do that. We'll have uh, we'll keep two. We will keep the medicine. I don't want to throw away all my medicine. And I won't throw away a good salami sandwich. So we'll do that. But everything else, we're okay. Chunks beef. This is the one that was in the bathroom, in the toilet. We're going to to sell that. We're not eating that. I'm not going to eat any space food that's not in a package like this. Mongolian beef? Yeah, I'm not going to eat any food that's not in a package just because, oh god. Yeah, we'll do all of that. Oh, persuasion chance. We might keep that. That might be useful later on. We think we're going to persuade. Med packs. Peaches. Penicillin. I'm going to keep the non-bread because non-bread sounds good. 
Oh, they have rye bread and uh, white bread? Okay. Salmon, chocolate, snake oil. That's a treatment. There we go. Research. We'll probably keep a couple of those. Just because if I start doing research, I want to have some stuff. A couple of watermelons. Yogurt. Okay. That's a lot, guys. That was a lot. Crimson Cabin. These are all my special notes. Oh, yeah. We could do our surveys. So you can save these and Vladimir will give you more money for your surveys. Yeah, we'll keep those. Those are all zero pounds. Doesn't really matter. All right. Good luck on all your adventures. Thank you. So now, instead of walking all the way down there, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fast travel. Since we sold everything, we're good. On weight. Let's just go all the way down here to New Atlantis. Now, let's uh, customize Daddy, our ship. You should inspect your ship for heat leeches now. Nothing for us to do. All right. Not if I'm my ships. Sure. How about it? So, I can go into my ship builder. There you go. You can customize your ships. So, what you want to do is you can take off a piece. Move it around a little bit. Put that right there. Move this. That's our docking area. So, this is our, uh, our cargo. Or not our cargo. This is where all of our uh, people live. Well, passenger slots. So what we need to do is we need to add more. So we need to add a cargo. No, no, no. Cockpit. No, no, no. We have any habitats. I think we can do that. So, ooh, wait a minute. I just realized. We have that one. We Let's add another one. Oh, no. We should have just done this one. All in one. Two by one. Dang it. We should have just did that. So, let's, um... Yeah, we don't need that. Nova Galactic. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, wait a minute. I just realized we don't have any passenger slots in that. Okay, that's what we were going to do. Let's do passenger slots. Let's just add another one of these. So we'll take this. And we'll delete this. We'll put one of these on top. So now we have a double hole. No, or maybe make the neck longer? Or double? Should we double it up like this? No, let's make the neck longer. There we go. Then we can move... Some of this landing gear like this. Move that up there. There we go. So now we have a back end. Oh, we gotta do the same thing over here. That way it's more of an equal, like, it's not front heavy. What do you mean? We could put two in here, right? Oh, I think we can. We have room for two more. We're definitely going to need more engines. Oh, good lord. So we can do this. There we go. So it's a little bit longer now. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, we need to definitely duplicate these engines. Can I put some in here? There we go. That way we have more, uh, more of that. There we go. We're definitely going to need a, another reactor, though. Holy cow. 
It's going to take all of our uh, power just to go for our engines. Oh, Lord. But we have uh, mo mobility. Okay. Okay. I like this. This is actually looking pretty good. We can add more. We have more stuff in the middle here. We can add some stuff. Oof. It's right next to our uh, engine, though, so maybe not. I wonder. But yeah, we don't have that much money either, so... Okay, so let's uh, do a flight check. Need more grab jump thrust. Your ship is too heavy to grab jump. Reduce mass or increase the grab jump thrust. Um, Let's see at our grab drive. We're going to have to take this off and replace it with another grab drive. So let's see what we got for grab drives. Let me see. Er, let me see what the, what's the stats on this one. Max power is eight. Thrust is thirteen. So we got to go above that. So I guess this one. Uh, power is ten. Eighteen. Actually, it's probably this one. Probably that one. Did that go up? Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Delete that. Is that good? Ship contains modules that exceed reactor class. Oh, God. No! What is, what is Oh, this! My, uh, my new grav drive. Man. Okay. Well, let's get rid of that one. Let's make another one. I guess we can't go too powerful or else it's just going to kill our uh, drive. So let's do this one. Is this one good enough? Nominal? Nominal! There we go. Okay. So we got more room for more people. And we have extra slots for later on when we, we have to upgrade our uh, generator for sure. Our re uh, reactor. Accept it. And now we have our cool ship. Hi. Let's see what we got going on in here. Now that we have a ton of room. Let's see what's out there. We can go up. We can go back. Look at this. What a cool little area. We can go up. And we have our, uh, our docking area. Okay. So we have our little hatch. Okay. All right. I'm feeling good about this. We're another one right here. How are you, Dusty? So yeah, we're gonna get everyone in here. Okay, I'm liking it. We're gonna need to add more, uh, more storage, more cargo room eventually. Eventually. Yeah. And then if you want to, you can assign people to your ship. Let's see. Let's go to crew. Um, Barrett is going to be assigned to my... Yeah, I know. No assignment current available for... What? How? Is everyone all... Oh my god, I have everything. Hey, assign my ship. What the... My ship only has room for three? I thought I had four. There should be two here and two there. What? Oh, wait a minute. Sam. I forgot Sam is here with his daughter. Dang it. Oh, well, we're going to need to make more room later on. That's fine. We'll get there. We'll get there. Well, hopefully you guys liked the episode. If you did, hit that like button. And in the next episode, we will be uh, probably going after the Mantis armor. We have that secret uh, base that we, we found a note for. We're probably going to be doing that in the next episode. So I'll see you guys then.